We have a 0.1 molar solution of chloroacetic acid and we're told that it is 11.0% ionized and we want to calculate the concentrations of all the components and get a Ka after it's all done. Okay, so what do we have here? Well we have this, the chloroacetic acid is in equilibrium with the hydrogen plus ions and the conjugate base. And the best way to do this sort of thing is to use the ice method, which is we take initial concentrations of each one of these guys, the change, and we calculate the equilibrium concentration, ICE, ice. And so we have the chloroacetic acid, the conjugate acid, the conjugate base rather, and H plus. And I'm just going to write them down as being. HA meaning the acid, H plus, well that's the H plus, and A minus being the conjugate base, which is this guy right there. And so the initial concentration of the undissociated acid is the 0.1 molar. And the initial concentration of undissociated uh, of the acid would be zero for each one because that's the initial. That's what we added before when we topped it up. That's before anything ionized. Now the change is going to be this minus 11 percent. So if it's 11 percent ionized, well, what's 11 percent of 0.1? So we go 0.1 times 0.1. 1, 1, that's 11%, and I get 0.011. So it's going to lose 0.011 in ionization. That's what it means to be 11% ionized. It's going to lose 11%, and it works out that 11% of 0.1 is 0.011. Well, if it's losing that, then it's, and since it's monoprotic, it's going to gain 0.011 in H+, and it's going to gain also, since this is 1 to 1, plus 0 0.011 for the conjugate base. So the final concentration here is going to be this minus that. That's the equilibrium concentration. So 0 0.011 minus 0 0.011. This is going to be, well, it's just 0 plus that, so we just carry it on down. So the concentration for both the H plus and the conjugate base is going to be 0 0.011. Finally, we can plug all of this into our calculator, and we might as well just go ahead and, and do this one out. So that's 0 0.09, wait a minute, it always helps to use a calculator, 0 0.1 minus 0 0.011 is 0 0.89 for this. And now we get, we've get we got our equilibrium concentrations all the way across, got 0 0.0899 for the, dis, for the undissociated acid and 0 0.011 for the conjugate base and the H plus respectively. So what's our Ka? Well, we're going to just put these guys in, 0.11, square it up. Remember it's products over reactants. Well, the product is this. And here we go for the undissociated acid. Plug that into our calculator and we get 1.36 times 10 to the minus third or you can round it to 1.4.